so now what we want to do is we want to register a user for our website over here so that is filling in this information over here and then clicking sign in so if we go in our diagram we have the register page here and what we want to do essentially is get the register page information go all the way down pass in the information to firebase itself like that and in here what firebase is going to do is it's going to get a new box so let's create this box and this box is going to send an email to the user and this is going to be a email saying please confirm your account and so on just so everything is secure and then after this what will happen is we will get this email and when they click through they should then be able to go into the back into the website like this so this is the flow over here so we go into the register page we have our information to create a user in firebase authentication then in firebase authentication what will happen is some background processes will happen we need to send an email to the user in that email it will say verify your account and then once we verify the account then we can access the login page over here so that's the flow that will happen so all we need to do is implement this so let's go in our code now we have everything being exported out in firebase what i want to do is i want to create a new folder this is going to be called authentication because with firebase you have multiple services that they offer such as the database and so on so if i create a new folder called authentication and in here what i want to do is create another folder but this one is going to be called the email auth in here or you could break it down further into registration and then login and so on but that is what i'm going to name it as so in here i'm going to create an index.ts file like so and then straight off the bat what i'm going to do is create a function called register user so export const of register user is equal to and if we go into our bowlers boutique website over here we need the name the email address and the password to be able to sign in or register a user so let's take them details in over here so again this will be the name as a string the email will do as a string but again you could type this into a specific regex example or we could do it in the function itself and then also the password as a string like so this is an arrow function and it's inside it's just basically going to log everything out or just return everything so console.log the name we can also log everything else so i'll just log everything else as well so now if i save we have our first function here that we need to be able to use in the form so what we need to do now is in pages we want to go to register over here and open the index.tsx file and then here you can see we have our register form so we want to command click through into here this is where our form will handle and confirm everything for us in terms of registering in here we want to do some react state handling so what i'm going to do is get access to all of our states so let's bring them in essentially we have email password and the names so what i'm going to quickly do is change this to name and set name we're not too bothered about the first or second names and import use state from react you could also use use ref and you could also put use state into one it's up to you how you want to do this and then essentially what we want to do is pass in the relevant values but these are reusable components that we created in the tailwind tss build and there wasn't any functionality added to them so let's go in the import and essentially this should receive a value prop and it also should see receive an on change prop as well so now in here value will equal value and then on change will equal on change like so and then what we also need to do is update the input props in here so this will be on change of react dispatch set state action and then this is a string as well and in this on change what i'm going to do is pass in the event and essentially whatever the setter is going to be is going to be set whatever it is of the input name and e.target.value like so so now we've configured that part what i want to do is go back in the form and pass in the relevant props so essentially just bring in my code and replace this with the form so all we are doing is we are passing in the value and the on change to the relevant inputs 
So let me just quickly change this. And we also have the is loading state. So now we have our form and we want to now do an on submit. So this button over here is of type submit. So with the form, we want to do on submit. So whenever we submit the form, we want to do an execute a function, which should in theory register the user now. So all I'm going to do is on submit. And then with the form, we have the E, which is the event. So we pass that in and this is going to be handle submit like so. And we're passing in the E. Now, what you can do is you could create a helper file, but I'm just going to put it in line in here. So const handle submit takes in the event here. And then what we want to do is prevent default. So E dot prevent default like so. And then let's just quickly remove this and save now. So E dot prevent default and we want to comment this out and quickly check if handle submit is called. So console.log of handle submit. So now let's check if that works. So in our console, if I inspect, open this up and in my console now, I just want to click register. Nothing is happening because what we've done is we've got the inputs that we need to fill in and these are required as props. So let's just put in my name Imran and then the email address is going to be Imran. The password is going to be test. And now if I press register, you can see here it says handle submit. So that's working, that's good. So now what we want to do is instead of console logging, we want to go into our email auth over here. We have the register user. What I also want to do is pass in the loading as well, or the set loading, because they, this is going to be an async function that we have. So now we're receiving set loading. Let's just quickly go into register form and we need to pass this in as well. So the function name is register user. So let's pass that in register user. And we need to import this in from our email auth helper that we have in our lib folder in here. So now this, if we hover over it, is saying it needs name, email, password, and set is loading. So let's pass them in. And then we also want to just quickly pass in the relevant type for set is loading as well. And then finally in register form, what we want to do is just a quick check saying if loading or if is loading, we could just return this for now and then save. So now we have no errors in our register form.tsx. Let's just quickly delete this. So now we've deleted everything there. This should handle everything now. So when we click handle submit, the register user should register the user. And then we also want to essentially add in the logic to verify that the user is creating the account with the relevant email. So in here now, what we want to do is we want to add some comments in. So first off, what we could do is do a check to see if name, email and password is actually in here. But Essentially, we can't submit the user without that information because the import is required. So we don't really need to do that. But what we want to do is we want to create a user or create a new user in here. And then after that, what we want to do is we want to send an email verification. So send an email verification to the user. When they click that, then they can access and log into the website. If they don't verify themselves as a user, then they won't be able to log in. So that is the functionality that we need to create. So this register user is going to be async. And in here, what we're going to do is have a try catch block and a finally as well. So try and then catch is essentially going to be an error. But what I want to do eventually is we will have a error handler that we will create because there's quite a lot of errors that are included within Firebase authentication. So we'll have that later on. And then finally, essentially, we want to set the loading to false. So that is what is going to happen. We just need to move this into the try block. And then this should now all work once we handle the try block. So the so first thing I want to do is set is loading to true. Then we want to create a new user. So this is quite simple. It will be a constant and this is a user credential. So this is a user that we're going to create. And then what we want to do is await for, and this is the helper that we get from Firebase authentication. So if we do control space and import that in, essentially it will tell us what we need because if we hover over it, 
you can see here it says it needs access to the auth as the first argument of type auth so what we did was at the start of the build we had the auth object which we exported which is in the index.tsx over here so this auth here so if we go back in here and hover over it says auth then we need the email and we also need the password and they are both strings which we have over here so that's quite easy to do we need the auth first of all so all we need to do is import auth from our index.ts file over here and then email and password is being received just here the name variable we'll get onto in a moment but for now let's save that and now what i want to do is we got access to the user credential now and now what we want to do is get access to the results so it will be user credential user so i'm just going to name this as the result for the user that we've created using this function over here so as you can see it says creates a new user account associated with the specified email address and password what i also want to show you is if we click through to here so command and click through we get access to all of the type definitions within firebase auth so in here you can see this is the auth function everything above it up to here so essentially what we saw in that little pop-up window before this gives a bit better explanation of everything for you and again if you keep scrolling down there are further functions so everything in the yellow export declare function is a function from firebase auth so that is handy if we don't want to access the docs or anything like that so let's close that down so now we have access to the results what we can do is console log the results or return the results whatever you want but essentially this user credential now will be the user that we can do something with and that something is going to be sending the email verification to the user or the user's email should i say and then in here now what we want to do is another function so we've awaited the create user with email and password but now what we want to do is await the send email verification so before it with firebase version 8 it was results dot and then you would chain it on but now with firebase version 9 it's just send email verification like so and at the top you can see we need to import it in like that and again if we hover over it it takes in a user which is what we have from the results and then it also takes in the action code settings which essentially is this kind of object over here and this is if you want to do custom email verification but what we're going to do is use firebase's built-in email verification so all you need to do in here is to literally just pass in the results so now if i save so that is everything complete over here what i want to do is quickly show you in the diagram what happens so we register the user with the register page that then sends the information to firebase authentication then does its own little function where it will send an email verification to the user once we click the in email verification then it will send the user back to the login page here when we will also create the login page functionality but what will happen is the user can then log in only if they verify their email address so we will do that as well so let's go back into the code and then there's this last thing here so what you can do is you could do a toaster or an alert or whatever you want but essentially what i'm going to do is alert essentially a verification email has been sent to your address and you could also put in the first name of the user in here so i'll just quickly do that so now that is the register user function complete what we now need to do is test all of this out just to make sure everything is working correctly from start to finish so essentially we have our inputs then when we submit the form it calls handle submit in handle submit we prevent default behavior then we register the user passing in all of the information in register user we have a try catch block and a finally block set it is loading to true in here we create a user credential which uses create user with email and password passing in the auth email and password and you can get access to the props that it requires in here when we hover over it using the intellisense auth email and password and the relevant types we need we access the results dot in here which is of user type so user credential that uses of user type and we need that in the email verification here 
So it takes in the user and the user type. And also you have action code settings, which is optional. That is for being able to do your custom email verification method as well. So, and then once we've done that, finally, we have an alert in here. A verification email has been sent to your email address of your, with your name. You could also put please verify to continue or something in here. Please verify your email to log in like that. And then we also handle the error. And finally, we set is loading to false. So let's save this. And now what we want to do is we want to test this out in our app. So in here now, let's just close this console down and quickly go into our users in Firebase Auth. We don't have any users in here, but when we do set it up now, we should see a user pop up. So let's go into Bowler's Boutique. In here, it's Imran. It's going to be imrancodes at gmail.com. And then the password is going to be my test so now when i click register all of these changes should happen so let's click register now you can see loading and then the alert pops up saying a verification email has been set sent to your email address imran please verify your email to log in so let's press ok so now what we should do is we should navigate the user to the login page so we can do that functionality but if we go into firebase auth and quickly go back into users you can see here now we have the email that i created which was imrancode.gmail.com and then the provider is the email and password provider like so this was created here and we also have the user.uid as well so essentially we have configured the register the of the user in here and all i want to do now is check my email so we'll do that so now in my email over here i've got verify your email for project whatever it may be in here and then this comes from my firebase project over here in here it says please follow this link to verify your email address if you didn't ask you can ignore so let's click the link over here so now you can see a pop-up has happened and this is coming from firebase so you can customize this as well but I might do a video on that later on. It takes much more time and effort. But essentially, your email has been verified. You can now sign in with your account. So now what will happen is the user credential that we have, it will get updated with email verified as true instead of false. So now that is the verification complete. We can go back into here and then we can sign in and log in. So let's quickly do the final functionality. So we need to navigate to the login page so we have a route enum in here that has all of the pages inside so essentially we want to pass in the use navigate function in here so navigate is of type navigate function and that comes from router dom so whenever we register a user it should then navigate to the page over here so let's just bring this down after here like so and now i need to pass this in so back in this form over here we now need to get access to navigate so const navigate is equal to use navigate and then we just need to import it in and then this navigate gets passed in over here and just quickly once we go if we go back into register user what we want to do, we've console log this results over here. So let's check what that returns in the console, just so you're aware of what happens. So again, we put in the information and then my test is the password and register. And now, as you can see here on this line here, we open this and now this is the user object that we create. It says here, email verified is false. And this is the email with my information in here. So essentially, once we verify, this should then change to true, which we've already done. But what we want to do is when we log in, we want to check if this is true or false. If it is true, then we should be able to proceed with the login and so on. And we're going to have that functionality next.